everybody. to go over, right? But the first thing that I want to say is welcome. I am Ifashewa Fatoying. I thank you for coming on to uh, my page for today's class. Love. Hi, Michael. <laughs> uh, love uh, to everyone. Happiness to everyone. So the first thing we're going to do is prayer. Hi, Donald. First thing we're going to do is prayer. And then after that, we are going to get right into it because today's subject, I think, is really important. Yes, hearts to you too. <laughs> um, today's uh, title today is, I left my Arisha at someone's house. Now what? No worries. Okay, so that is the title today. So let's get into prayer. Hi, Larry. Peace and love. <laughs> so um, here we go. Majuba Lodumai, Majuba Ori, Majuba to the Irumale, Majuba to the Orisha, Majuba to our mother and father, Majuba to Egungun, Majuba to Aluo, Majuba to all of the Ajibonas, Majuba to Arba Ni Lefe, Majuba to Akota, Majuba to Asheda, Majuba to all of the Ianifas, all of the Babalaos, all of the Aluos, all of the Ialodes, Majuba to all of the temples that are doing the work to uh, to help people, Mojuba to uh, all of our teachers, our Baba Ifas and our Ia Ifas, those are the teachers. Mojuba to all of uh, all of the divine ways in which we can practice good character. Uh, Mojuba to Chief Salagwade Popola, who is giving so much information around the world. Mojuba to Egbe, right? We can't forget our heavenly peers. Mojuba to 
to all of the divinities, our family, our friends, our ancestors. We, we are an embodiment of those ancestors. So to all of our ancestors, may they be elevated uh, in peace and in happiness. Um, we are just so grateful to be able to be here today, to, um, to be able to have class today. Uh, and to be able to worship you today, to give a homage to you today, to give honor today to all of the good things that we have. We have long life. We have uh, prosperity. We have a good spouse or and good relationships. We have good children. We have um, and children around us to make us smile. We have victory over all things. Um, I pray that all negativity is taken away so we can have clarity and peace within ourselves, which is the ultimate um, I pray that all bitterness and sadness and depression and loneliness and loss and all of those things, sicknesses, all of that go away, go away, go away. So we can have the confidence that we need to be able to complete our destiny as smoothly, as, as gently as possible on this earth. So we can do good deeds, so we can have good actions, so we can have healing, so we can have transformation, so we can have all the things that we need and the support that we need to be able to accomplish our destiny. We are so grateful today, Lord Damari, for all the good things that you give us. And we also pray that uh, for forgiveness for all the things that we have done negatively, knowingly and unknowingly. We pray that we are forgiven for all of those things. Again, Lord Damari, we thank you so much for all the good things that you constantly grant us, especially our breath. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Jan. Hi, Phoenix Rising, Baba. Hi, Bonilla. Latin. Yeah, I can't pronounce your name, but that's beautiful. It looks so beautiful. Ashe. Latinti. Latinti. <laughs> Peace and harmony. So, uh, today's topic, y'all. Today's topic is I left my Arisha at somebody's house. Now what? No worries. Okay. So, first thing that I want to say that that is going to be encompassing all of this are two words. Preparation to prepare, right? And number two is provisions. Right? Hi, Rubio. So, preparing and provisions. Those are the two words for today's lesson that is encompassing. I left my riches at somebody's house. Now what? No worries, right? And I'm going to make this very clear as, as much as I can for everybody to be able to understand. Today, we're also going to be using this big old thick book. <laughs> Wabi. I tell you, for those of you that got it in PDF, you are so lucky. We're going to use the Wabi book today, which is by Chief Salagbade Popola, right? Um, and we're going to be on page 351. So just to get you prepared, we will be on page 351. It is going to be Iwari O'Warren. And the first sentence is, let, let us make provisions for the evening time. So if it's on another page other than 351, please put that in the chat. Um, so if first thing I want to say are tools are important. All tools. All tools are important. Every tool we have is important, including our head which is most important, right? Our or re. All types of tools, right? The tools that we use to carry water, the tools that we use to get food, right? In farming or agriculture, uh, the tools that make clothing, the tools in our household, the tools in our environment or at our work, the tools that help us do trade, tools like electronics, like how you're able to see me now, tools that are left here by Irumalates, right? Tools, all types of tools. And of course, one of our greatest tools is our head, ORI, O-R-I, I hope you got your notebooks today. <laughs> O-R-I, ORI, our head. 
And then our body. Literally, our body is a tool in this world that helps us maneuver where we want to be, right? So tools are important. So please keep in mind preparation, provisions, and tools. Another thing that is very important is protocol and taboos, right? Protocol. You need to know before you go into somebody's elay, before you go into somebody's house, before you get into something, what is the protocol, right? I don't care what you practice. What is the protocol? You need to know what that is, right? The how-tos, right? What you're supposed to be doing. You also need to know the taboos, what you cannot do. There are certain things, and no matter what somebody practices, that is going to be taken as offensive. And yes, we try to balance that out as best we can. You know, so you want to do your study. Another key word, write that down. <laughs> study, study, study. Before you jump into anything, again, I don't care what you practice. This is across the board. Everything is going to have tools, even if your body or your mind is used as a tool. Everything is going to have provisions, which we're going to go over. Everything is going to have a study, right? Everything is, okay, uh, you put page 348 <laughs> um, in the Amolawabi book, thank you. Um, everything is going to have those types of things. Study, uh, preparing, uh, provisions, tools. It's going to have protocol, taboos, and no matter what you do, above all things, character is the practice. That's what I love about Ifa. Because it's open, we can go wherever we want. We can go inside of a church if somebody wants to go us to go to church with them just to support them. If they want us to go to a mosque, if they want us to go into a synagogue, if they want us to go outside into nature, if they want us, no matter where, we can go everywhere. We can always support our friends where they are, right? And we can always go into other Arisha temples, Ifa temples and things like that. So I love its openness, you know? However, one of the main things that makes it so open is because Ifa is the practice of good character. Say it with me. Hi, Glenn. Uh, Ifa is the practice of good character. Say it again. Ifa is the practice of good character. Number one on the list. <laughs> hi, Falade. Uh, Falade Speaks. Go check her out. So, um, hi, uh, Ms. Williams. Hi. So, um, so today, uh, somebody asked, what is the Odu? So today, the Odu that we're going to be going over is Iwari Owarin, and it's on page 351 in the Moldawabi book. So these are key words, you know, that we're going to be utilizing today. So prepare before you do anything. Provisions are necessary. Study, number one, yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Makanjuola and I have for months took the time to come up with uh, something that is pre pretty much everything, which is Ori and Ni. So please check out Ori and Ni.com, O R I E N I.com, and sign up for the eight week class. It's going to be every Saturday. So it's once a week. Because we're, we realize that there is all of these types of assistance, but where there is not an assistance is here. Our ori, our head. So once that is correct, and we know how to apply what is in our head, it makes things much smoother, right? So the study of ourself. And when I say study, I mean also the assistance in our with study. What do I mean by that? Hello, Damari. So some of you have asked me also, where is my material coming from? My material comes from Chief Salag Bede Popola. This man has put out books. He has put videos on YouTube. He has done lectures, classes, retreats, everything I can think of. So he is my main source of also information as a teacher, as a Baba, as a best friend, as all of the, as an Aluo, as a chief, you know, are there other people? So 
Um, so, cause I want to go over also, cause when I say steady, I want to make sure that you also have information that has real odus, <laughs> real odus. I have come across some things that are not real odus. It's, it's just poetry, which is fine, but people are saying that they're odus and they're not odus. So that's why I studied Chief Salamide Popola's books. There is another book by Ayo Salami, may he be uplifted, may he be elevated, he passed away. It is a blue, white, and red book that is half size of a book, but it's thick. Ayo Salami also has an Odu book uh, that is very resourceful. I don't have it with me right now, but people have been asking me who, what information am I utilizing. That is also information. Okay, so steady, right? Let's start from Alo Damare. What is a Lodomare? Chief wrote about it. He has a book about it. Get it on efaworks.com. So when y'all are asking me, where am I getting my information from? It's from efaworks.com. There's DVDs, there's CDs, there's books, there's everything that is 100% like an overall cover, right? Because if we don't know what a Lodomare is, we're gonna get stuck, right? What is an Irumale? He has another one. What is an Arisha? If we don't know what these things are, when we go and we just go into Ifa, it's going to be a problem. <laughs> it's going to be a problem. You need to know what something is, again, before you dive in. And that's why I said preparation and provisions is going to be key today because this is a situation that keeps happening. Somebody left their Orishas at somebody's house and they can't get them back. And now they don't know what to do. Right? But if you don't study and if you think that you're stuck and you don't know the solution, it's, it's just going to further the, it's going to further the problem. Right? Ifa Herbal Medicines. Again, Chief Salag Bade Popola. How about Divine Possibilities? <laughs> You know, I want to make sure y'all, women that are pregnant or people that are trying to find a mate, Akule Abiyamo, all of these different books. So those of you that have been asking me about my library, my library is big, you know, but the majority of the information that I'm getting is from Chief Salat Bede Popola. And he has made the information very clear by putting underneath Odu's what it means. Now, Odu is key. O-D-U, Odu. That's where we're getting the information from. She is fabulous, <laughs> right? Odu is fabulous. We're getting our information from her, right? When we go to a Babalao or Ianifa or a Luo or Ialode or an Awo or somebody, that's where we're getting it from. So when somebody says, don't read Odu's, that's a problem, <laughs> When somebody says, don't study Odoo's, that's a problem. When that is the main place where we are getting our source of information from, right? So we need to be able to read that and get that and absorb that. And there are teachers out there like Chief Salagbade Popola who made it a little bit more easier. And how did he do that? He put the character traits clearly in the Odus and the description of it underneath. And he's done it in a lot of his books, but the main book, Amoluwabi, is the book that he did that with. And that will help you if you lose something, like an Orisha at somebody's house. I don't care if it's your Ikeen, I don't care whatever it is, you will not have worries once you understand the importance of Odus, the importance of Ori, the importance of Alodomare, the importance of what an Irumale is and where it is, right? Or an Arisha and where it is and what does it do and why should I get initiated or go through ceremonies or things like that. If you have an understanding like that, you can best believe it's not going to matter what you lost. Hear me, please. It's not going to matter what you lost as long as you did not lose Ori. 
your head. Are you with me? Are you, are you, are you, are you getting what I'm saying? So if you lost an Orisha or an item or anything at somebody's house and they're just not going to give it back to you because they want more money or they, or they want you to do a, an outrageous a bow or they, or, you know, something was done wrong or whatever. You are okay. You are okay. I, I'm telling you, you are okay. Why? You didn't lose this. You didn't lose your head. Ori is most important. Hi, Ife. Ori is most important. You did not lose this. Okay? So if somebody comes and takes all of this away, guess what? You're okay. You're okay. Okay? So don't freak out if somebody kept something or you lost something or something was destroyed, maybe because of a bad relationship or anything like that. Hi, Denise. Um, so please just stay with me with this particular uh, class today and you will see why. Okay. So looking at and understanding those things, right? Also our community what do you want it to look like before you get into that community? What do you want that community to look like? What do you want, do you need from that community? Because everybody needs somebody, right? You know, everybody needs somebody. So in that community or in that family or in that ELA, what do you want it to look like? And then... Part two must follow. What does it really look like? Let's take a breath on that one. <laughs> what does it really look like? How much support are you really getting? Right? So really just take a breath on that one. <sighs> Relax your shoulders. You will be fine. You will be fine. Okay, but you got to look at that. You got to look at your support system in reality and not to, to have more needs than you do your deeds. <laughs> do not have your needs outweigh your deeds. You are going to that elay to help. You aren't just going to that elay just to pull, 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 padrino, ma madrina, you know, uh, baba ifa, ia ifa, uh, the Aluo, the Babalao, the Ianifa. You're just not there to pull, 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 pull. Hi, peace and love, Debbie. So, you know, you have to make sure that when you're going to an Elay, this has as much clarity as possible. I'm not saying don't go to an Elay or to a house or to a temple because that's what you need is help with your head. Yes, definitely go. But you want to do your work. If you don't do it, you can best believe nobody can do it for you. I don't care what kind of Ebo you do. Can it help? Yes. But are you sooner or later going to have to do some work? Immediately. <laughs> Immediately. You are going to have to do your work. Why? Because your work is needed in this world. Your work is needed in this world. Okay? So, next thing. You cannot force healing or transformation. You cannot force healing or transformation. It is a process. It is a process. <laughs> It does not happen overnight. And I know you know this, but when your Arisha is stuck at somebody's house, <laughs> it becomes a problem, right? Your healing and your transformation is a process, okay? So you cannot force healing. You can't force the transformation, nor can you force. Hear this one, hear this one. You cannot force a relationship. <laughs> Y'all, I have tried it <laughs> with friends, guys, uh, instructors, <laughs> mentors. You cannot force a relationship. 
You can't even force, if I can't force the relationship with myself, I surely can't force a relationship with somebody else. You cannot force a relationship. You cannot make a babalao or a luo or an ialode or an ianifa or an awo or anybody else, even an olorisha. You cannot push them to move faster than they move. You cannot make it a bow work faster than what it's supposed to work. Maybe it's not going to work in those 17 days. Maybe it's going to take a year because there has to be a character shift in you to make sure that a bow flows to its capacity. Okay? You cannot force things to happen. A Lodomari is going to make it happen when it is most beneficial for you and just because it is something that you feel that you need it may not be in your destiny to have it hear me i have been there so if you did some type of ceremonies with somebody or you lost your orishas to somebody or somebody has an object of yours that you want back and you just can't get it back again you have not lost your Ori, your head, your body is still intact. And that is very, very important. Hi, Christian. So 100%, you cannot force healing, transformations, relationships, ebos. You can't have something work before it's time, including yourself. Because you'll burn out, right? So obviously we can't have other things work before it's time. So today, so what made this whole thing come about? Somebody said that their Arisha is stuck at somebody's house and they can't get it back. Remember I said key words like prepare and provisions and study, study the people that, you're, that you wanna, uh, want to be your teachers. And your mentors, study them before you make a commitment. Study them before you make a commitment, right? Um, you know, character is very important. It's, 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 it helps us have peace, right? And peace of mind is everything. But another key word that I used is tools. Tools, okay? So everything is a tool, Beads are a tool. Ides are a tool. Hear me. Iroques are a tool. Ibo, I-B-O, calorie shells, seashells, they are all tools. Opeles, O-P-E-L-E, -E, opeles, these are all tools. Orishas. Irumales, pots, everything is a tool. And guess what? It's replaceable. <laughs> if I lose my opuele, I can get another one. And this is also for the people that lose things on flights, <laughs> right? Sometimes people take other people's orishas on flights, right? You just don't lose them at somebody's house. It is replaceable. Let's just think about this. Everything that you're using is coming from the earth. Everything. There's nothing that's going to be in a pot <laughs> that didn't come from the earth. Right? So everything is in abundance. Alodomari made sure everything was in abundance. Right? So everything can be replaced. So I hope that heals the hearts of those that thought that they lost in Orisha or lost in Irumale. They're so much bigger than that, right? And the example I always give is Ashun. Ashun is in Irumale, right? She is a primordial being. That's in Irumale, right? She is pre-earth. She's pre-earth. Let's think about this, right? Water comes from the sky. Water didn't start here on earth. So how big is your Ashun? 
right? So these things are universal. They're, they are, can be replaced, y'all. They can be replaced. So let that comfort your heart that you can always either get it from someone else or go back and get it or go to another country and get it or things like that. But also these things are a part of you. Literally, you have water in your body, you know? So don't freak out. No worries. They are tools to help you focus. They are tools to help things manifest. They are tools, okay? So I really hope that helped helped you, right? All right, so yes, or read does not sanction it. It will not happen, okay? So yes, that's why our relationship with Ori is very important. And that's why Makanjuola and I have done oriandneed.com to make sure you have material to be able to read. You have courses that you can take that can help you with your Ori. Okay, hi Oshun Kemi. So yes, 100%. So let's look at, in the Amoluwabi book, let's look at page 351, or I think also 348, the Odu is Iwari Owarin. Okay, so let's go over that Odu today. So before I go over the Odu, um, let me read a little something. Um, avoid the temptation of greed. When people um, start to lose things, all of a sudden greed starts happen happening or also desperation starts happening. Have patience, calm things down, take your breath, relax your shoulders, let things come to you or work for what you need, okay? So if we plan for today and our future, things will go much more smoothly. If I says that it is the responsibility of all striving to become a Moluwabi to plan for the now and the future. With a good plan, from now, the future will be secured more effectively. So in the Odu Iwari Awarin, it says, let us make provisions for the evening time. Let us make preparations for the morning time. If we fail to make provisions for the evening time, if we fail to make preparations for the morning time, anxiety will anxiety will envelop the world. The crisis will greet the heavens, the comings and goings, even the securing of the doors. Right? These are the declarations of Ifa to Sowelolo. When laminating and her inability to, to have a baby, she was advised to offer an abo. In this Odu, Ifa says that anyone, anyone who fails to make the proper and adequate provisions for the present and the future, he or she will end up living his or her life in a state of anxiety, confusion, insecurity, and hopelessness, all right? So in this Odu, it starts right off the bat, y'all, right? This is why reading Odus is very, very important for us. Let us make provisions for the evening time. Let us make preparations for the morning time. If we fail to make provisions for the evening, if we fail to make preparations for the morning time, anxiety. <laughs> Anxiety happens, right? It could be depression, loneliness, bitterness, resentment, uh, being resentful, all of those different things. Worry, all of those things can happen. Stress can start to happen. If we do not have preparations or provisions, what is provisions? Listen to this. Provisions is the actions of providing or supplying something for use. So not something that's broken, right? It is the action. That's an action word, y'all, <laughs> right? 
It's the action of providing or supplying something for use. So let me read this again. Let us make the action of providing or supplying something for use for the evening time. So before you even go to sleep, <laughs> you need to take action. So when you wake up in the morning, your preparations are clear. So your transformation can start to take place. Now, I know people got the morning prayers and, and all of these things and stuff like that. And you do your morning prayers. You wake up, right? You wake up, you hold your head in the morning, even when you're in bed and you say your or read prayers and things like that. And that's great. But before you go to sleep, make sure you have an action that is applying, uh, that is providing and supplying something for use. So in the morning time, you can prepare. Okay, so that is, this Odu is saying a lot, right? So even when it says, and the crisis will greet the heavens, right? We're having, you know, we could be having crisis right now in our body and our mind, you know? That crisis can reach that high, right? So we have to always make sure that we are doing not just our prayers, but our actions actions need to be clear on what we are doing is your morning rushed don't do that anymore is your evening are you emptying out are you purging before you go to sleep are you giving gratitude that you even made it through the day because there's people that did not make it there are people that did not make it right so we want to make sure that we have that clear. So, of course, how do you prepare? How do you have these this action of provisions? How do you do that? Exactly what I told you. <laughs> Learn about before you even get involved. What are these tools? What are they? What are they used for? Why does this rattle? Why does the Iroke make a sound? You know, why when I go and get a reading, why is he telling me to, to hold a, a shell or, or, or there's calorie shells involved or, or things? Why? Why is somebody telling me that there's a rooster in my ebo? Why? What does that rooster represent? You need to be able to do your study before you get involved. And you need to know the information that is in here because if you don't prepare if you don't make your provisions and things like that you could best believe ain't no way bow gonna help you you are going to have to do your work at some point in time i'm not saying don't do ebos ebos are very important however with ebo comes good character so the shift in your character trait so ask those bob allows what is the character trait in this ebo and why are they using the ingredients that they're using because if your ashe doesn't move, there's going to be a problem. Eshu's going to be like this. He's <laughs> going to be like, um, you know, I need you to do a little bit more work so I can, you know, help you with this ashe to move. You know, right? Because ashe, because Eshu makes ashe move. And again, what does your community and support system look like? What do you want it to look like? And what is it really? Are you learning? Or are you going over something again and again and again and again? It's just the same old thing, right? Again, you cannot force healing. You can't force relationships. You can't force a relationship with your madrina, your padrino, an awo, and a babalao, and ianifa. You can't force it, right? Provisions, the action of providing or supplying something for use. If we are able to take these types of steps, then getting or feeling lost after a reading, after a ceremony, after a ritual, which is common, won't happen. It won't happen because you've done your study, right? So getting or feeling lost after rituals is common. If you don't understand the tools you receive or that you have or that you're seeing or experiencing, if you don't have that understanding about it, there, there's going to be a problem. <laughs> there's going to be an issue. So these are the three things that I think that could help. P-S-T. Number one, patience. 
Patience with yourself. Have patience with yourself. Don't just jump into something, right? Take your time, you know, right? Number two is surrender. Have that humility, right? So patience, surrender. The last one is truth. What is the truth? Where are you right now? Look at that truth, you know? Take a breath with it. Let's take a breath together, y'all. <laughs> Let's take a breath. Let's take a breath because of the truth of where we are right now. You ready? Take a deep breath. Let it out. Relax your shoulders. Let your shoulders go down. Let's look at the truth as to where we are right now. Be it to uh, get out of a situation or to give gratitude that we are here right now. Let's take another breath. Let it go. That's important, y'all. We got to have PST. Patience. Surrender what's not working for us or with us. And to really recognize the truth. And let the, that go right on by. So then you won't have issues. Uh, because let me tell you, I hear it almost on a daily basis that somebody has been physically abused, emotionally abused, mentally abused, economically abused, spiritually abused with some type of witchcraft or thinking they can control the yamis or even social. Even for those of you that are teachers and healers and things like that, keep your mouth shut. Don't gossip about the people coming into your elay or coming into your house or coming to you for help. Only consult with those that are willing to do the work to help that person, right? So if those any of those things are happening, leave. <laughs> leave if those things are happening. You should not have to go through that. Take your time with your practice. Hi, Anna. Take your time with your practice, 100%. Be patient with yourself. Surrender what's not working and then learn the truth about who you are and also about what you're studying. Whatever your practice is. I don't care if it's Santeria, Lukumi, Kondom, Black. I don't care what it is. You know, Christianity, Buddhism, Islam, whatever it is, you must know the truth about it so you can move forward. Okay? So... Character is your love and your light. Character is your love and your light. And I know sometimes we get out of character. Sometimes I get out of character. Or sometimes I'm just pushed by, by something over the edge. And that's why a support system and your community is important. Even earlier today, I had uh, uh, two of my sisters pray for me today because there was a friend that I, a friend's daughter uh, that we lost. You know, a beautiful inspiration in this world. So I understand why heaven wanted her back. I understand why Egbe wanted her back. You know, because in everything that she did, she was impeccable with her word. She was impeccable in her actions. She did community service. She did her work on herself. You know, so I understand why Egbe wanted her back and is celebrating in heaven for her. You know, but I needed them to pray because I had a moment of, oh my goodness. You know, because I, I felt the loss, you know, but just like with Orishas, Irumale, beads, anything that you lose, anything, no matter what it is, no worries, you will be fine, right? Because there is a reason why you had to have that type of an experience. Right. And there's a lot of loss right now, especially with the pandemic and things like that happening. People are moving. A lot of people are moving to Africa now, you know, especially a lot of African-Americans are making the connection. You know, <laughs> I know traveling sister on YouTube. I know she's getting so many people because I have, you know, told people go watch traveling sister on on YouTube and go watch Juliet, who is Blacksit. B-L-A-X-I-T. Go watch her on YouTube because they've put out all this information about Africa. So a lot of people are also moving and going to Africa to see their options, right? So I like to give a shout out to people that are doing the work. 
You know, Otura Tuka is doing the work. Good Morning Ifa is doing the work. Chisalak Bede Popola is doing the work. There are so many people, Carl and Camille and Osa Kamran Temple are doing the work. There are a lot of people that are doing, you know, the work. You know, so in this Odu that we went over today, preparing and having provisions is important. In the evening and in the daytime, you know, understanding Odus and really, really studying them is important, especially your Odu. You know, if you've been fully initiated in Ifa, you know, so that is the information that I have today. If you lose something, they are tools. Are they important tools? Yes. However, if you lose them, they can be replaced. So for the person that cannot get their Arisha back from that particular Elay, let it go. If, the, if you got the reading and the Dafa, D-A-F-A -A reading, if, the, if in that Dafa it said, let it go, let it go. Just go ahead and get another one. I know somebody who lost all of their Ikin after an initiation. Woo! <laughs> Y'all. Lost all of their Ikin after an initiation. Paid all that money. But guess what? There were two things that were very important. Number one, that person learned, I can get more Ikin. I can get more Ikin. Number two, that person learned more about themselves because when they didn't have their Ikin, they had Ori, right? They had their head. And they Rumale and the Arisha and the ancestors, they're everywhere. <laughs> Right? And there's so many of them. We can't even name all of them. Right? They're everywhere. So they're with us at all times. Alodomari is with us at all times. There's no resting with Alodomari. You know? So Alodomari is with you every day, every moment. You will be fine. You'll make it through this pandemic. The finances you need will come to you. The support system, the spouse, the friendships, the businesses, all of that will manifest for you in due time. The children that you want, be it if the, to birth them or just to have them with you or to be able to work with them will happen for you. You will have victory over all obstacles with a cool head and leverage. Everything is going to work with you and for you. Why? Because you have worry. Right? So you didn't lose anything. You're still here. <laughs> right? You're still here. So I have an announcement to make. Right? Oriani, O-R-I-E-N-I dot com. Go to the website. Right? Makanjuolo and I have worked for months to get this up and running and to have a class about Ori. And we know a lot of people have been asking about it. And we know it's important because... Some people get a, a bows and, and rituals and things like that. And they say, things are still not working for me, you know, or I've lost things and still th things are not working for me. But you have something that you can work with all the time. You do not have to be initiated. You do not have to be any lay. This is an open class to anybody who wants to come in. We made it so it could be also pre-doing anything, pre-a-reading, pre-initiation, pre, pre, pre we are going to go over or read and its importance and the things that you should know and practice on a daily basis. So this is for everyday people. So the orientation for the class starts August 15th. The course starts August 22nd, but this Tuesday, August 11th, exciting, <laughs> Makanja Ola and I are going to be on Facebook. <laughs> We're going to be on Facebook. It's going to be four o'clock uh, West Coast time. So that is seven o'clock East Coast time. We're going to go Facebook live about Oriani August 11th, that is a Tuesday, okay? So I just wanted to make sure that y'all had options 
options. Take the Oriani class. Take the Omoawo class at Los Angeles' um, Otura Tuka Temple. Study uh, and look at Chief Salagbade Popola's YouTube on YouTube. Look at my, my YouTube page, Ifashua Fatoying. Check out all the books. You have all of the books from, from if, uh, Ifa. Uh, works.com, I-F-A-W-O-R-K-S.com. You have so much information at your fingertips. There's no more excuses. No more excuses. Okay? So 100% use your ORI to its full capacity, <laughs> right? Go to Good Morning Ifa. We have so much information for you so you can connect and it's also for the people that are in Africa so they can understand the African-American experience. So they can understand it from a Latino or, or a different point of view. So we can bridge the gaps. We don't have any more excuses and we don't need them because we are an empowered people now. And that's what I think this pandemic has done for us. It has made us take another look at what is it that I really desire? What is it that is really my needs? What is it that is, are, the, are my taboos and am I following them? What is the protocol in the community that I'm working with? What is, how do I prepare? And what are the provisions that I need to take? What are the action steps that I need to take? Right? So we are making this 100% available for you to be able to move forward. And I'm so, so, so excited. Please repeat the time for Tuesday, this Tuesday. <laughs> so it's this Tuesday, live on Facebook, Makandru Ola and I, Makandru Ola from Good Morning Ifa, uh, and I are going to do a live presentation for Ori and me. 4 o'clock West Coast time, 7 o'clock East Coast time. We're so, so, so excited about it. Hi, Kamal. Uh, very excited about it that we're uh, going to have um, this course is going to be starting again. The orientation starts on the 15th and the, the course starts on the 22nd. Now, I just I need to say this. This is a limited class. This is a limited class. I'm going to tell you right now, everybody is not going to be able to get in <laughs> on this class because we're almost at capacity. So go ahead and sign up for the class or reany.com because it is limited. And the reason why we have it limited is because we need to focus on each and every individual that comes into this class. Right, this class is participatory. You must participate. This is not going to be a bunch of lectures. You are going to be doing work, <laughs> you know? But at the end, it is going to be blacktastic. It's going to be amazing because then you will know how to utilize your tool. And your most important tool is your ORI. Okay, so that is the class today, you know, so everybody please thumbs up, like the class, make your comments, all of those different things. If you want to know more, know more information, please inbox me and I'll be able to give you more information um, about the class. You know, I like to talk to y'all, so you know, I'll be asking you for your phone number. <laughs> You know, so uh, we can have a connection and be able to help each other. And so me and Makandriola can do the service that we have been called to do, y'all. This, we just didn't plan this. This was a calling for us to be able to help as many people as we possibly can. I love you. I love you. I see the hearts and the love and, uh, coming in. I appreciate each and every one of you that come every Sunday here um, to ifashewa.com. I, I do, I really appreciate all of you. All of you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I miss all of you in New York. Peace and love. You see, I got my Brooklyn Industry 
top, uh, top on, you know, for Brooklyn in the house, you know, and, and much love to also all of those in New Jersey and, and all the places that you're at on the islands, on the continent, in the United States. Thank you. Yes, Jose, thank you to you. And thank you for uh, being here. Nancy, yes, I appreciate you too. Yes, Michael, Brooklyn is in the house. <laughs> much love to all of you. And when I say it doesn't matter what you lost, no worries, you will be okay. Much love to you. Oh, Rodriguez, I see you just came in. Much love to you. <laughs> At the end of the class, you're going to have to do a rewind. <laughs> but I love you. I love you. I love all of you. Okay, I will see all of you again next Sunday. I will see you Tuesday. Um, oh, I appreciate you, Williams. I appreciate, oh, Anna, I love you. I love you so much, Anna, and all the work that you're doing. I know you've been working through COVID-19 to make sure people are okay. I thank you to Baba Umpo and Mama Naya, who have also been doing so much herbal work to the community um, to, to help people. Um, thank you, Phoenix Rising. I, I love you for all of the, um, I'm so grateful for you because you have been helping people also with their ORI as a counselor. You are a counselor and psychologist. I thank you, uh, Falade. I thank you, all of you. All the work that y'all are doing, I send you love. <laughs> okay, peace and harmony to everyone. Odabo.